Hello, welcome to another edition of Moment of Joy. I'm Reverend Faith Kubai of St. Paul Benson here in Omaha. This week, I will share with you the joy I felt arriving in U.S. from Kenya for the first time. My journey from Kenya to U.S. was a journey of happiness, of joy, and I felt so good that I'm going to a new place, although it had its own discouragement, it also had its own challenges, but I felt a lot of joy when I knew that I am going to a new place, meeting new friends and starting life afresh. And so my preparations began way back in 2019, but unfortunately I did not make it to come. And so 2020 in January was the month that I came to US. And it has been a great journey. It has been a journey that I have enjoyed. It added more joy when I had to go back and bring my kids. And today I feel good. I feel I have achieved. And I feel more comfortable, even if my parents and my siblings and all my family are back in Kenya. I feel the joy of being with new people who have embraced us and we can identify with them and we have reached a point where we are calling them our family. This reminds me of the time when Jesus was in this world. After 30 years of living with his father and mother, he had to begin the ministry that, Jesus, that God had sent him to do in this world. And the first thing that he did, he went and looked for disciples. He called the disciples, the people who were supposed to help him with the ministry. And the Bible records in the book of Luke, chapter 5, verses 1 to 11, in the Sea of Galilee, that's where Jesus met most of the disciples. And the first disciples he met was Peter, and he called him. And as we reflect about the moment of joy, I'm so much reminded of the calling that we receive, the voice that we receive every day. And how do we respond to the calling that God gives us? I was called to move from the place that was known to me, from the environment that I was so much used to, from my people, from my family, from my colleagues, and to go to a place that I did not, did not know. And I hearkened to that voice of calling, and I obeyed it. And so Peter obeyed when he was called by Jesus. He was a fisherman. And this particular morning, he had spent the whole night fishing without getting any catch. And when Jesus appeared, he went straight to the boat that belonged to Peter. And he asked him, Peter, can I use your boat? And Peter, without hesitation, he said, Yes, Master, you can use my boat. And Jesus, at his comfort, he preached to the congregation, to the crowd that had followed him. And after preaching, Jesus did not leave. He asked Peter to put the net on the water. And wow, what happened was Peter had a catch. They had the miracle of the day. The previous night, they did not have even a single fish. But at the command of Jesus, and at the obedience of Jesus, they had a big catch. And the Bible tells us Peter had to call his friends and his colleague to come and help him pull up the net because it was tearing off because of the many, many fish that they had gotten. There was a lot of joy. But it did not end there. Peter looked at Jesus and he recognized this is not just an ordinary person. This must be a son of God, if not God himself. Because what had happened was a real miracle. 
it was so divine that even the people who were there were amazed at the obedience of Peter they got to see a miracle at the obedience of Peter they got to know and recognize who Jesus was and at the obedience of Peter we see Jesus telling him you have to leave the work that you are much used to you have to leave your career and you have to follow me and you will no longer be the fisher of fish but I'm going to make you the fisher of men and since that day Peter became the disciple of Jesus Christ just because of that small obedience today we read the story about Peter's obedience I don't know where God is calling you to be obedient this week and as we are reminded from the book of Matthew the great commission of our Lord Jesus Christ he told us to go to all the nations beginning from Judea to Jerusalem and to the entire world making disciples of all nations and today God would want us to be obedient to start wherever we are in our families in our churches in our communities in our places of work making disciples of all nations that small obedience that is what Jesus is interested in I obeyed and left my people I don't know the comfort place that God would want you to live and wherever God sends he sends you with his joy and he sends you with his anointing and the moment when you obey your joy will be fulfilled today I can stand and say I always feel the joy of leaving my comfort zone to come in here to a known place making friends making new uh bringing new people in my life and having the people that I can call a family obedience opens the door of divine guidance it is an act of love an act of trust an act of surrender to our loving creator let us commit to walking in obedience trusting that God's plans are always for our best God bless you and until we meet again next week be God be with you goodbye